Dee Dee, the Holt family is doing everything they can to get 24 year old Josh Holt back. He grew up in this Riverton neighborhood. He left in early June to marry his fiance, who is Venezuelan. It was his first time to the country, second time meeting his bride to be in person. Two weeks after they wed, they were thrown in jail, and now the family hasn't heard from them. I have this like ache in the pit of my stomach, and my heart feel, just feels heavy. Scared and confused. Four messages. I the mother of Josh Holt says it's been four straight days of worry after finding out that her son was stuck in a Venezuelan jail. Josh and his new wife Tammy met online in January. They got engaged in May and Josh flew down to Venezuela for the wedding in June. The two planned to wait for her visa before flying to the U.S., a plan that made family members nervous. Absolutely not. You cannot go there. It's dangerous. We've seen everything on the news. And he just, he didn't listen. And on Thursday, we got a Facebook message that Josh is in prison and my heart just dropped out. Josh's Josh new mother-in-law messaged Lori information. with the news and with little information about the arrest, except Credit for this. Card. Then they went in and they planted this gun on this shelf. Pictures of guns, a grenade, cash, his passport, credit cards and IDs taken at the apartment he was staying in. Oh, I knew. I knew when I saw that, I was like, he's been taken. The family contacted the U.S. Embassy with little luck. They haven't been able to see him. They wouldn't allow him. They have not allowed him visitors. His new wife's family has also been in contact with the Holt, sending updates, but also asking for clothes and items for Josh. We're being cautious. We have been told that be prepared that they are going to ask you for money. So we're waiting for that to happen. Now the family has had a hard time getting the full story, but the U.S. Embassy tells them that they should get a lawyer. The only problem, the quotes that they've got, close to $100,000 for that lawyer. Senator Hatch also in touch with the family. We reached out to his office. They say they're looking into the arrest, but couldn't give us more information. Back to you. It's got to be a